Meth suppression team say it took several hours to clean up, a, uh, clean up a meth lab that exploded this weekend. News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler joins us now live with more on how much it costs to clean up the mess and how the community helps front that cost. Elizabeth. The explosion happened here at this home in the 2400 block of Roosevelt Avenue in Lafayette. I'm going to bring you guys around this way so you can see the damage actually done to this home. You can see there part of that side wall was completely blown off the foundation. Now, it took troopers about five hours to clean up the mess here. They say it's a timely task and it's also a costly one. It's been several days since a meth lab exploded inside this Lafayette home, and the evidence is still visible. This explosion just shows you how uh, volatile uh, a meth lab can be. Indiana State Police Trooper Wesley Ennis says it's hard to know how much meth was cooking at the time of the explosion, but either way, he says the cleanup can be time consuming and costly. Well, if it's a small lab, you're looking at an hour before we even get there. You're looking at least an hour to two hours working it, and then you're looking at two to three hours of paperwork once we're done and we leave the scene. So there's a lot of man, man hours that go into it, a lot of time, a lot of money. First Sergeant Nikki Crawford oversees all meth suppression units here. In Indiana. She says on average it costs $2,000 to clean up just one meth lab. She says the cost for the homeowner can sometimes be even more. Their cost can be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000, depending on how deep the contamination is left in the home. Ennis says they receive federal grants to clean up meth labs, but he says ultimately it's a cost that's fronted by taxpayers. No matter how you are, are going to slice that, uh, DEA is funded by taxpayers, state police funded by taxpayers. So yes, in the long run, it is, it is being funded by all of us to pay taxes. According to statistics, 33 meth labs were discovered and cleaned up last year in Tippecanoe County alone. With an average cleanup cost of $2,000, that means about $66,000 was spent cleaning up the mess here locally. Yeah, it, it is costly, but in, in the long run, we're putting people in jail, need to be in jail. And we're, we're cl helping clean up some communities. Now, this isn't only costly for the community money wise, but also health and safety wise. In this particular instance, the meth lab actually exploded right next to a toilet. So those chemicals actually seeped into the water. And because of that, the water, gas, and electric all had to be shut off here in this neighborhood. And some residents say their water wasn't actually turned back on until just recently. We're live in Lafayette tonight. Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18.